Hi friends, this is Adam Vinash and in this video we are going to discuss how to generate the sinusoidal p um signal or waveform using STM32. I will be using STM32F0 in this video and I will be guiding you how to generate the sp um signal through the code. So as you have earlier seen that I have shared with you a shot in which I uh, show that how I am showing, how I am generating uh, the waveform I am generating on the oscilloscope so I will be discussing the code with you and everyone who is interested in getting that code can comment on my channel or my video and will be getting the copy of code in his email so let us begin so first we will be discussing the basic idea how we can generate a code and so that we can get a sinusoidal SPWM uh, through it so First you need to have 50 Hz frequency waveform generated and for that you can select ARR and PSC value to a particular value and after that you have to adjust the duty cycle. The duty cycle is adjusted using ARR register and the CCR register. So what you can do, you can denote two channels, two timer channels in this uh, in this uh, for this and for the first channel you have this waveform which is above this omega t line and another which one is below this omega t line so what you can see is that it is it has the maximum width the pitulum width is maximum or duty cycle is maximum in the middle of uh, this waveform or particular pattern and it tapers down at the uh, edges or at extremes. The first, you should know how you can change the duty cycle of the this pedalum waveform. You have to increase the CCR register value, being the ARR value being fixed. So from here to here, you need to increase the CCR value, and here to here, you need to decrease the CCR value so that you can get accordingly the waveform and here also you need to from here to here increase the CCR value and after that you need to decrease it from here to here so let us see how I am doing it in the code first you need to do settings in STM CubeMX so this will be a bare metal code mostly but we are also using HAL library in it so we will be using to generate this code we will be using STM CubeMX with Keel so first we go to system core
here I am setting the PSC at 1599 or 1599 and, and ARR at 599 so if you see the frequency will be like 40 the output frequency of the timer will be 48,000 48 megahertz divided by 1599 plus 1 into 599 plus 1 which is about 50 hertz so this is the formula for output frequency of the timer you can use it to generate code for your own on your own and this is the ARR value so we have we are using we are, we are we are using two timer channels so timer 1 CCR 1 register and timer CCR 2 register I am using so you have to initialize CCR 1 to 5000 and CCR to 0 and this is setting for timer uh, PWM mode using OXM bits so these bits you will be setting 5th and 6th bit and then you have CCMR you, have, you are setting the 3rd bit then you have CCMR1 13 and 14 bit is set and then you are enabling CC1 enable CC2 enable and that's it we are uh, enabling these in uh, these bits 0, 2nd, 4th, 6th and then you have to initialize BDTR register MOE enable, OSS enable and OSSI enable are the bits in this register which you have to set and then you have to set the UG bit of the EGR register um, this is for this is we have done for the timer 1 channels and besides this you have to set the GPIO pins in alternate function mode and using a motor, fun motor register and as well using alternate function registers so this function I have added let us search for it this one I have added so I am set using the motor register and AFR register to enable the uh, channels or timer channels on the corresponding PWM or timer channel pins and let us see what is happening in the code with the other timers so I have set it I have been setting the timer 2 also in timer 2 I have kept the p scaler and the ARR same as timer 1 so you can see 1599 and 599 is there which is similar with timer 1 similarly for all the other timers I have kept the same settings so that everything is going on in 50 hertz frequency you can see for timer 2, timer 3, timer 14 everything is same so I, we have also set the Timer, other timers besides timer 1 in interrupt mode we have set it for interrupt so let us see what will happen in the code according to timers I have not used any delay here you can see while loop is empty there is no code here so first let us see what is happening in the timers here in the timers first let us see what, what variables we are using I am using three variables counter count and counter 1 to make this uh, waveform happen so as you can see in timer 14 the count when count is 17 our timer 2 stops and timer timer 3 starts so what happens this code jumps into ISR of uh, timer three so let us see what is happening first let us see what happens when uh, the count is nine when the count is nine the timer three stops and timer two starts it is happening opposite as according to this code here timer two stops and timer three starts and here timer two starts and timer three stops and when the count is zero 
the count is reset to initial value of 70 and we're decrementing the count every time in every uh, in every 1 by 50 second so let us see what is happening in timer 2 and timer 3 ISR in timer 3 it can be divided like in uh, these steps if count is 16 we are setting the counter 1 to 340 counter 1 is a variable which we are assigning to CCR2 register and CCR2 register is responsible for the duty cycle of the second channel that channel will be connected with the gate of the MOSFET so when the count value is 16 we are setting the counter to the 340 and when it is between 9 or sorry between 10 and 13 we are increasing decreasing the counter by 80 when you are decreasing the counter and counter 1 and uh, assigning it to CCR 2 it means that you are increasing the C duty cycle here and in this part of code you are decreasing the duty cycle so this was for count from which is count count for uh, less than 16 this happens let us see what is happening in timer 2 ISR in timer 2 is we have the code when the count is less than 8 so here if the count is 8 counter value we have kept as 340 and when count is less than 5 we are decrementing the counter and assigning it to CCR1 register so here we here we are increasing the duty cycle and here we are decreasing the duty cycle so this is how the code works let us see uh, what I am doing here I am running the timer 1 by this statement and I am running uh, the timer 14 here which is in interrupt mode by this statement so eventually we get a we get two we get SPWM SPWM